This video is sponsored by Audible, and this is an incredibly good feeling. I don't even know what the yes button is. Is plundered the yes button? Is that? Thank goodness. So, we've completed our hermit challenge of playing in pirate language for one entire episode. A lot of you were saying that I wasn't quite piratey enough, but that wasn't the challenge, all right? All I had to do was just read out the item names in pirate style and play with pirate language. And Iskal has, has kind of completed his hermit challenge. He gave me 12 bamboo, which if I just do a little bit of removing, uh, I have I have turned into a suit. <laughs> So he, I mean, he did complete the challenge, you know, he gave me the 12 bamboo, which is incredibly valuable, and I do now have my suit back, kind of. It's it's made of bamboo, but it's, it's kind of back. So all in all, I would say that round of Hermit Challenges has been a great success. Of course, we'll meet up with Iskal at some point to ring the bell and do everything like that, but in today's episode, I really want to work on the base. You know, in the previous one, we did a bunch of work to the exterior, we managed to get everything sorted all the way up to this level here. So the outside is now is now pretty much done up to this level, which is fantastic. And we also came up with a grand, grand concept, like an incredibly grand concept. My base is going to be alive, okay? It's going to be a living thing that we have to try and keep happy. So we have to we have to feed it, we have to keep it satisfied, we have to we basically have to tend to all of its needs. I'm sure this isn't going to wind me up in the slightest. As if Grian wasn't needy enough, I now have a base to deal with too. Now, of course, this build is going to require a ton of engineering and work to actually work well. And I've just thought, wait, I'm in my redstone testing world. I'm fairly certain the Hermitcraft season... There it is! So as I said in the previous episode, in Hermitcraft season 4, I actually did something fairly similar to this. With this guy right here. And the redstone contraption is still working. And amazingly, he's not... He's not even dead yet! But that's the thing that we need to fill him up with, but all the item frames are missing. I guess the entities got deleted in some form of Minecraft update. But amazingly, he seems pretty chilled! I mean, he's not happy, but he's all right. But essentially, we need to do all of this, but on a much larger scale and in a much more complicated fashion. This is going to be interesting. First things first, I've traced out the area that we actually have available for this thing, because obviously I don't want to build something too big for my base. And then as I was doing this, I kind of came up with a way that I think I could build this redstone contraption efficiently. And that is to make it modular. So each one of our health bars will actually function on its own. It will have all of its own timing circuits. It will have all of its own redstone clocks. The counter will be inside of each modular circuit. And then it will just have a couple of simple outputs that will run into like a central processing center, which will then send the output from that up into whatever we're going to have at the top of our build. I still haven't decided what I want to do up at the top. I, I don't know if I want to do a face with emotions. There are a few cool ideas down in the comment section with like different crystals and things. That could be interesting. I don't really know just yet. Bit of a progress update. I'm about an hour into this process. I've managed to sort out the redstone lamps. So, oh gosh, I've just broken something. Now, as you can see, as this thing begins to use up its resources, the redstone lamps will begin to count downwards gradually. And then we can restore these redstone lamps by activating this dropper on the other side. I also now have the redstone clock system, which will gradually deplete the redstone resources. Now I'm working on an item detection system. So this is an item sorter that is going to detect the item that should refill all of this. It then needs to send a signal to refill all of the redstone lamps and also shut off the redstone clock so that we don't lose any redstone lamps immediately after refilling them. All of this sounds a lot more complicated than it is, I promise you. Another hour into the process, our single module should now all be designed. I've got all the output sorted, I've got all the input sorted, I've got all the timings sorted, I've got the item collection system sorted, and these orange lines here represent the three different stages that I want our processing system to recognize. So I've got full, it's full to the brim, happy, and then I've got the middling one, which is kind of like, all right, and then down at the bottom here, I've got dead. Uh, dead's obviously a problem. Now, I do feel like it's worth mentioning that this, of course, is just one of eight modules that we're going to have. I've got space for another module here, and then obviously we're going to have two modules on each of the corners of my build. So this is going to be a pretty gnarly redstone project, I have to say. And now I think I've got the final phase worked out. So these are the different emotions that our thing can show off. Happy, eh, and sad. I've decided I kind of don't want my base to die regardless, so it's just going to be an upset base. <laughs> and if I play around with these levers, Right here, we should see that the emotions will change. So right now it's happy, and then it is in the middle, and then there is the sadness. And we can kind of flick these around and toy with the emotions, essentially. Cool! I think we've done it. I think we've designed it. Right, let's pop onto the Hermitcraft server. And I guess what we should do is probably get ourselves set up with actually a good-looking design. 
for where these redstone lamps are going to be going. I have been faffing about a lot with this thing. I've been going back and forth with my designs. I have really been scratching my head quite a bit on this one, but I'm hoping that this setup right here should end up looking pretty good. This whole area is so deadly. And you know what, I'm gonna go to sleep so I can actually see it in the daylight because that's always a better representation. Good night, sleeping next to my own head. It's kind of strange. Can you think of anything more creepy to be staring at you while you sleep? Let's have a look then. I was really confused because I thought it was still dark. <laughs> I forget that I've actually put the roof on this thing. Right, let's fly around. And there it is. So that is our little redstone counter system. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I mixed in the black stone. That looks pretty cool. And it still needs ruining. So I guess let's construct that on all four sides. But first, a quick message from our sponsors, Audible. Well, 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 where you going? I've been using Audible for years. In fact, every single Hermitcraft episode, every single Redstone video that you watch has some form of audiobook behind it. In fact, I've been using it for so long that I've actually started to wonder, I wonder what it would be like if I didn't have Audible. What would I do without Audible? Well, solution number one seemed pretty obvious. She has to quicken his departure, like the rapid pulling of a tooth. Vic, when would you be able to speed things up by like 1.4 times and maybe take the volume down about 20% and also, can you go back 30 seconds? Cause I kind of wasn't listening. So, with Vicky now not talking to me, uh, it was time for plan B. Yes, yes, yes. The place looked like something oh, out oh of gosh, Amityville no. No, or no, painted walls. Dusty so clearly Audible is the tool for the job. You're not gonna put out the screen again, are you? Sorry, yeah, I, no, you're standing the screen from this point. Whoa, no, I'm just joking. Fine. Fine. If you want to sign up to Audible, head over to audible.com forward slash mumbo or text mumbo to 500 500. Give me a second. One book. I personally recommend listening to Breath, written and narrated by James Nestor. It's all about the importance of breathing properly, which is definitely something that I've never thought about before. So give it a listen and let's get back on with the Hermitcraft episode. Now I thought I'd do a quick time lapse of me building up the other segments and I'm quite glad that I did because I think it's quite a satisfying time lapse to watch and I've also been enjoying doing time lapses recently. You might have noticed that they've been creeping in and out of my videos, you know, that tends to be what happens. I'll kind of flip-flop. Sometimes I'll really go off of time lapses and I won't use them at all, I'll just be purely cuts. Other times I'll be all for them. But I think one thing that time lapses do incredibly well, and it's a bit obvious, but it's actually show the time. You see, that took around about an hour and 45 minutes to build up those things, which isn't a crazy amount of time, but I feel like that would have been lost in cuts. People wouldn't have seen that time going in, whereas with a time lapse, you can see it. Hence. Hence the name. Yeah, I'm. everything I'm saying right now is incredibly obvious, isn't it? Let's move on, shall we? Yeah, let's just g get off that subject. I don't know about you guys, but I think this has made a huge, huge difference to this build. It looks so much more solid now, and I know I keep saying that, but just seeing this thing come together, I mean, it really is. This now looks like an actual structure, but we are not quite done with the construction just yet. There's still a few things that we need to do. Uh, we need to do some ruining, and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it. Maybe just add some notches into the sides of these things, so kind of dirty those up a little bit, and then I guess just start chucking some leaves around, I suppose. Now I tried adding in the leaves, and it looked a bit rubbish, because there's not quite a big enough space to actually have the leaves, so they kind of look like small dots. I think I might have to go to like, a scar school of ruining, because he does, I mean look at the leaves that he's done back there. He just, he knows how to do it so well. I might have to get some tips from him. Anyway, a lot of people have been asking what this sign says. It's actually just Iskal pointing out the size of his base. So that answers that one. Anyway, let's get the other three sides all ruined up. And I've got to say, I'm really, really finding this sort of thing satisfying at the minute. Like, I'm heavily enjoying building and just trying to make the build look cooler. It's... It's weirdly therapeutic, because normally I'd find this sort of thing really frustrating, you know, as I say, building does not come naturally to me in the slightest, and that's why in Hermitcraft Season 7, I've really tried to focus on my building to to make it so that it's a skill that I actually have, you know, because I, I don't want to be limited in Minecraft by my abilities, I want to be like a well-rounded Minecraft player, and I don't want to be put off from doing a large-scale project just because I don't feel like I can do it. So that's why I'm tackling things like this. On a completely different note, why do I keep forgetting about scaffolding? I have so much scaffolding, and I love scaffolding at the minute. Yeah, I keep not using it. I'm back to my old ways. Man, I'm just checking out Scar's tree here. He has... He's 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 ruining on all sorts of different levels here. You know, he's got, he's got bamboo with string on top of it so it doesn't grow any higher. He's got all different types of leaves. 
I mean, it's so fancy. Anyway, well, mine, mine's done. Mine, my build's done. <laughs> Forget about this beautifulness. Let's, let's cast the eyes over to this monstrosity. I'm kidding, of course. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with this thing. I think it's looking cool. It's, it's all coming together very, very nicely. I can't wait to get the redstone in this thing. And I still don't know what I'm going to do with the chariot. I also still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this top section up at the top here, you know? I mean, there is space for a head. There's crystals. I mean, I, all the ideas are still whizzing around in my head. I still haven't quite pulled the trigger on any, but this is looking seriously cool. This is looking so much better now that there's some texture in there. It looks really, really good. And I stand by the fact that blackstone is my new favorite block. I just... Ooh, it's it's such a nice texture. I've just flown over to the industrial district to gather up a few more firework rockets, and I see this thing. Hello, sir. Since your gold farm is so great, here is Golden Present of Doom. P.S. Pull lever. Okay, so there's gold blocks. I'm kind of wary that it's going to blow me up. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, is he... <laughs> So wait, is this him showing off how good his gold farm is? That he can just dispense gold into fire? <laughs> oh, he didn't put that much in. I mean, come on, Iskal. You know, if you're really going to flex, they would be gold blocks. And there would at least be a full inventory's worth. I can't imagine that was more than 32. My gold farm's so good that I would be able to do a full... I'd be able to do two droppers worth of gold blocks, I reckon. Right, now I really need to remember to cut this out of the video because... My gold farm isn't quite as good as Iskal's and I could really do with these gold blocks. The fact that these piglin trader farms allow us to get nether quartz, and now I can just easily get one full stack of comparators, this is big news. I mean, it's not exactly fresh news, but it is so cool that that has been introduced. I never thought I'd see the day where we could get a renewable source of this nether quartz stuff, so that's fantastic. Anyway, I'm just in the process of filling up my redstone resources so that we can actually start building up the brain of this thing. Why is Green here? What? He has a bed. He's making a base. He's taken all of his things off. Kill. Gladly. Absolutely gladly. And again, I mean, this is... This feels cruel. Again? <laughs> this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Again? <laughs> more? More? Oh, more. Well, that was incredibly satisfying. I mean, you know, uh, uh, I guess that gets him back for stealing my door, I suppose. I... I mean, but I did tell him to steal my door, so maybe that's not kind of merited, but well, that was fun. I think we might be good to actually start constructing this thing. So I suppose, I mean, we get the ball rolling by linking up all the redstone lamps. And at the minute, I'm absolutely loving building this redstone contraption because so far, it's very, very survival friendly in that you can actually get around. You know, I often... My problem is I design redstone contraptions so compact that it's, it's often impossible to move in them, whereas this... Look at this, kind of, almost. I mean, I can kind of drop through. I can make my way around. So with all of the connectors done, now it's time to actually do the resource counting circuit. And that involves just a handful of droppers. It's all quite simple, really. All of these timing circuits and things are a little bit more challenging than that. I mean, that was just like one, that was like one coherent circuit. You know, it was just a sequence of block placements. Whereas this, this is a little bit more fiddly, but I'm now working on the item pickup system. So this is going to be detecting the items that get thrown into the machine and it's going to be sending the output from that into this so that we can then replenish all of the redstone lamps. No! I've built this on the wrong side. And it's worse than I thought because I've actually built it all the wrong way round. So I've built... I've built this right-hand side unit as if it's a left-hand unit. So that means that, look, all of the redstone and things, it goes over this central line. We actually can't fit the left-hand one in. So I need to tear all of this down, start again, <laughs> and, like, mirror it. <sighs> it's funny, isn't it? You know, things take so long to build, and yet they're so fast to take down. And now I've got to rebuild it, which is, yeah, not that fun. About one hour later, here it is. And I'm in much higher spirits now because this thing is all constructed. I've tested it. It's all working. We've got ourselves one eighth of the entire system. And I have to say, it looks really, really cool, doesn't it? Imagine how cool this place is going to look when there's like interconnected wires and things all running through it. There's the item system that's going to go from the bottom all the way up to the top. There's going to be the head up at the top. We're going to have to deal with that. I mean, it's just... 
it's going to look nuts. But for now, I'm going to keep building up the other half of this. What I really want to do is get one full quarter all completed and ready to go, because then we can basically do a trial run of one quarter of the system. We can see what it's going to look like from the perspective of the outside. It is so much nicer building things when you've already built them. Things are going so smoothly. I think I'm actually on the last bits. So if I place in this redstone torch here, and then a redstone torch here. Yep, that should be everything. So we've got the slowing down circuit, we've got the timing circuit, we've got the output up to the droppers, we've got the output from the item sorter to the other dropper with the observers. Oh, I need to put I need to put the pulse extender in. There it is. Very 2010 little pulse extender right there. Just gives us five minutes of cooldown time where the redstone clock doesn't count down. And that is that's everything in place. And it's also all been lit up so it doesn't become a complete mob hell because that's what the rest of this build is currently. And I'm gradually, <laughs> gradually trying to light it up. Anyway, let's grab some items and we'll actually start filling up some of the droppers in this thing so we can start seeing the redstone lamps turn on because to be honest, that's all I want to see. I just want to see what this thing's going to look like from the outside. So where are... I just need some non-stackable items. I guess just some shovels. Let's grab some iron. So if we fill in this one side here, I think it needs... I seem to remember it was... Is it seven? If I remove one... Okay, yeah, that turns off the redstone lamp. So we need seven... Seven things in each one of the droppers. Just completely ignore me falling there. You know, that didn't happen. I know it sounds so simple, but I just want to see what this looks like with the redstone lamps on, and it looks cool. It looks cool. So I've done a mock-up, okay? I've removed some of the items so that we have some of the lamps turning off. Man, <laughs> I love the idea that my base is alive. My base is a living thing that we now need to stay on top of. And it looks even cooler at night. Yes, I did stand here until it got dark. <laughs> it looks wicked. It looks seriously, seriously good. I'm pleased. You're pleased, I hope. If you're not pleased, I apologize. But there are still things that need to be done. I actually need to work out what attributes these redstone lamps are going to be counting. You know, because so far, I mean, in my head, I've got, I've got food worked out, but there's seven other things that we need to be feeding into this system to keep the almighty happy. And I said almighty because I have no clue what that thing is actually going to be just yet. I still haven't worked that out. So I think it's worth popping into the redstone testing world and just trying to map things. So as I say, we've got food, seven clear spaces. I would say feeding it diamonds seems pretty cool. Actually, now that I think about it, I mean, a music disc could be really... <laughs> that would be a pain in the backside, but could be quite good. Giving it something to drink would be cool, and I think I should be able to detect a water bucket. We're gonna have to do some interesting redstone there. An apple to stop the Almighty from getting sick, because everyone knows an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Obviously a little bit of redstone dust, so it can do its redstone work. A book to read to keep itself entertained. A little bit of coal for fuel. And finally I have poppies, because I really like the idea of giving flowers to my base to keep it happy. With that being said, this selection right here is just initial ideas. So so let me know down in the comment section if you think there are some better ones because you guys are smart. I'm sure you'll come up with something. So with that done, it's now time to wrap something up. Obviously, I'm wearing my bamboo suits. Iskal has completed his challenge. I think I completed Iskal's challenge. You know, we've all we've all managed to sort out everything. So I think it's time to summon Iskal. And I think I'm just going to do that by going like that. <laughs> Hopefully he knows what I mean. You know, I imagine he will. Normally, when I just send messages out the blue that don't make any sense, he's going to assume that it's Hermit Challenges. <laughs> In fact, actually, before he gets here, let's hop on a call, because I want to hear his reaction to my bamboo suit. <laughs> <laughs> How do I look, dude? <laughs> I'll do a little spin, do a little twist. <laughs> I have one question. <laughs> uh, go on, go on. I got like... one question for you. Yep. What What did you use to make the tie? I I honestly, you know, <laughs> that's a very good question. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> I have no clue. I didn't even think about it. All right, I just sent I sent the twelve bamboo off to a tailor. All right, and and I've come back with this. <laughs> and I I think we can all agree, it's actually that, pretty that cool. Is, that is that is awesome. That is the best suit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's staying. This might be the permanent. This is the new look.
Yeah, well, you don't have, you don't have a choice really. To be fair, no, that's true. Yeah, no, it's it's uh it's gonna be staying for quite some time. So I'm gonna be rocking this for a while. But it's ah, uh, it's that it's, is so brilliant. That is. Does that mean that you officially accept that I did my challenge then? Because I was a little bit, you know, I I tried I mean, to find your yeah no, yeah. I mean, look, okay, the twelve bamboo is incredibly valuable. All right, so basically, you bribed me off. And then I've converted well, the bribe into a suit, but that's it's fine. Yeah, I mean that's creative of you. It, let me let me just let me just explain one thing. You do not want to know what I had to go through when I searched for 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 your suit. I found things that doesn't make any sense. Okay, <laughs> oh, really? so yeah, I'm just that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say it. That okay. was quite it was quite a day to try and find stress. All right, okay, I'll <laughs> I'll we'll we'll just leave that. We'll leave that as is. I won't ask any more questions because it seems yes. like, yeah, you maybe don't want to talk about it. All right, okay. Um, and well, I got to say, I, I, I haven't seen your episode being piratey, but I did have a treasure map. Yep. And you are the master of, of clues. Sweet, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> I did wonder district. if you would get that. I was a and little I, bit I, concerned that you would just I, travel uh, off into the distance. And well, I, felt, I did that. Ah. I did that for, for about an hour. Ah. And then I read the note again. I was like, Mambo, I also have a sugarcane farm. Yours is not sweeter than mine. Oh, so you th- oh, see, that's, that's, an interesting, that's an interesting perspective to think sweet. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> no. that, was, that was very, very clever, and I found the the thing and cool. didn't have the greatest content in it. Not gonna lie, it was one of those treasures where I don't know when you were little if you ever had a Christmas where you were like you were looking for so much to a present, and then it turns out to be socks. <laughs> I mean, and it was like, oh no! What did you look? I was expecting my suit back, and I got the twelve bamboo. Right? Is this? Ah, uh, that's true. I guess. I guess. I guess we're even then. <laughs> I guess so. Well, look, okay. So I, I did do, I did do my episode in pirate language. I referred to, for example, the bamboo as being bamber. That's what it was. Bamber. And there was, there was. I think there was bombs are plenty were my fireworks, and I had like black beards, helmet, and 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 not, stuff not like that. Not to forget. Not to forget. Hold on. Stand right there. Yeah. Not to forget the one thing that I actually saw because of a sign, which is. Harmit Challengers <laughs> Initiation. <laughs> that, that was well done. That was extreme. That was a very dramatic, a very dramatic production of yeah, yeah. No, so I, I, I would say, I would say I did a decent job. A lot of people in the comments were a little bit disappointed that I didn't put on that accent for the entire episode, but I think that might have worn off quite fast. <laughs> what do you mean, you <laughs> salty sea dog? No, I, can't, I, I, I think my viewer that. attention would have been about 4%. <laughs> People yeah. would watch 4% of the video and just be like, you know what, I no. Got, I, I, I got better things to do. No, I get it. Alright, well that means... <laughs> This time we click the be- click the button. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, cheers for that, dude. Uh, I guess this yeah. isn't a two PC, so there's no extra challenges. So, uh, okay. I'll see you again, Hermit Challenges. Oh, you did it! Oh, you did it! <laughs> I did it on oh, the slide. Well done. I did it well mid sentence. <laughs> well done. Yeah. See you later, dude. I love that suit. That suit is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. You paid for it. Right, with Hermit Challenges all done and dusted, and with the base looking all fantastic and partially alive. I think it's time to end. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this Hermitcraft episode. It's been action-packed. There's been all sorts of things going on. It's been a really fun one to create. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. It should be so hot in my room right now. It should be so hot. It's a boiling hot day. Sun is out. It's blaring right into my window. But I am at a cool 19 degrees. It's actually too cold. To be honest. It's too cold. I'm, I'm actually too cold right now. <laughs> but I'm enjoying being too cold. <laughs> I'm freezing. I'm shivering. But... I'm feeling good because I've got air conditioning.